So we're out scouting tonight. And uh, there's been a bunch of bucks coming out on this backfield. We got a long strip of corn, and then we have alfalfa all the way back this point. We were planning on setting up over here in this pasture and phone scoping them tonight. But the wind is blowing straight down the field right to the deer. I don't think we're gonna get away with it, especially on the bigger bucks. So we're gonna cheat this and go down this cornfield and our wind is blowing straight here and the deer are over here. So we're hoping that we can get a consistent wind and kind of cheat it and get close and get some good video of these bucks tonight.
Well guys, we're just heading out for another evening up looking for velvet box. We were just down this ridge system here, probably a mile, mile and a half last night. JP and I snuck out in a standing cornfield and got eyes on quite a few deer, a couple decent bucks. But uh, we know there's a couple really big bucks in this area. We're just trying to figure out which field they're going to. So we kind of came back on this other ridge and a lot of beans, probably close to 200 acres of beans on this top. So it's gonna be a kind of a crap shoot, you know, if we get in the spot where these deer wanna come out, especially the big ones. But uh, there's kind of a secluded part of the field back here. We got probably an hour and a half until dark. We're gonna sneak back here and, and set up and see what comes out tonight. again tonight but uh, just wanted to kind of bring it to your attention I know a lot of people are curious about digiscoping but just haven't jumped into it and I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about phone scope and how easy it is to get out and film bucks like we're doing right now with your cell phone um, if you go to phonescope.com they got a custom builder you go in there you plug in what optics you got whether it's binoculars or a spotting scope like I'm running here tonight and uh, they'll walk you right through it it's super easy um, you pick your optics you go through and you pick out what cell phone you have and they are gonna fit exactly what you need um, for my setup here I got a phone case which I leave on my phone all the time whether it's deer season or not it's a durable phone case and on the back you'll see that it's got slots and this is my attachment and it literally pops on like that. And then they send you an adapter. And this adapter size is perfect to the optics that you choose on their website. Literally screw it onto my phone. And it fits like a glove. It's awesome. You can take incredible video through your cell phone. Almost as good as the video we're taking on our thousand dollar cameras. So if you haven't already, head over to phonescope.com. Get yourself outfitted with a phone scope adapter. Use code TPP15 at checkout and save 15%. Bucks are starting to roll onto the field. We're gonna get back to the action here. We're back on this secluded bean field. We can probably see 15, roughly 15 acres or so on this top ridge. And uh, when we snuck up here, we kind of just posted up on this tree line. We've already had four different bucks on the field. Two of them are just over this rise, kind of working down along the edge. And then we've got two other ones um, a couple hundred yards out. But uh, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're going to see a lot of deer tonight. Got a pretty good wind. But hopefully we can get a big buck in the scope tonight. had a couple bucks come in behind us like 400 right 400 yards out that's what it looks like through my phone HD video 400 yards through my phone pretty awesome it's about quarter after eight we've probably had Six, seven bucks on this field. Not the real great. One just stepped out, might be a three year old, but kind of a dud. And a uh, handful of does and back behind us. We got a couple bucks, a couple does. But uh, all right here, another buck. A little buck, like 60 yards. I got a feeling we're thinking about popping out to another spot and checking it out, but I think we're kind of stuck, so. Right, I sit tight till dark and see if anything comes out here. Curiosity has the best of us. We kinda got a break in the action here on this field, so we are gonna slip out of here and head back down this ridge and 
check out the rest of these beans. It's a lot of rolling hills up here, and uh, can't help but wonder what's out, out in the other field. So we're gonna back up and head out of here, see if we can't get eyes on something good. All the bucks we seen last night. Nothing new. We just filmed the buck <coughs> that we were looking for. There's two bucks in this area that we know made it through the season last year. And uh, we just laid eyes on the bigger of the two. <laughs> Absolute giant, non-typical. We had him at like, he was in a dumb spot. Come on, I don't know if he was bedding in the standing corn or what, but uh, JP actually seen him. We were driving down the road because we seen several other nice bucks in this other field we were going to go take a look at and jp's like ah, i think i just seen something good I'm like yeah but there's a bunch of bucks in this field so we kept going checked them out wasn't anything we wanted to see so we went back and i came around the barn and like instantly recognized them and i'm like oh my god and we were able to sneak around the silo and film him from like i don't know 90 to 100 yards we got some pretty good video with him through the phone scope. JP was running the big lens. He said he got some good stuff too, so I'm pretty worked up to see a deer like that. I mean that deer should that deer should push 200 this year. He's got a decent amount of growing left to do, but he's got a damn good start. But oh my god. <laughs> That's why you go out and look for deer in the evenings to see stuff like that. That was awesome. It is August 12th. JP and I are out looking for deer again tonight. It, uh, it's been raining here for probably the last eight hours and it stopped a couple hours ago. And the sky's kind of cleared. The temperature has been in the 80s pretty much all week and it's dipped down to 57 here so these deer we had a little bit of drive to get to this area but uh, we're seeing a lot of deer out um, should see a lot of deer here before dark I think we're gonna try to stay mobile or you know try to stay mobile and stay in the vehicle until we see something good um, we're down in the general vicinity where we filmed that real big buck uh, almost 10 days ago now we're kind of wanting to give him some time and we know he's got growing left to do so we're gonna try to get back down here today and then uh, maybe one more time before the end of August when he's um, pretty well grown so see what we see tonight um, 
hopefully we can lay eyes on some good bucks. There's one deer out there. Doe. Mm -hmm. Handful of doe is way back. More does and fawns. Big Jim. I think we just laid eyes on the big one. He's actually pretty close to where we seen him 10 days ago. Opposite side of the road. Almost 100% certain it was him. We drove by kind of quick and he we only seen him for a few seconds, but it looked like it was him. If it ain't him, it's another giant. Uh, we're gonna go back down. There's a farm, probably half to three quarters of a mile down the road, where I think we can set up and try to get the scope on them. Let's see what those are. It's a bachelor group too. Small box. That had to be him. Yeah. I see big giant brow <laughs> tines. And he was walking just as wide as him. Yeah, that was. And he's with four other bucks that are nice. Yeah. Awesome. Don't go in the woods. Stay on the field. Stay on the field. Yeah, he's going in the woods. Well, we got a brief intermission, so we're going to go ahead and do a first light in the field for the week. If you haven't checked out First Light lately, they got a lot of new logo wear. I'm actually rocking a, just a logo hoodie right now, and uh, obviously got cool temps tonight and into the fall. Obviously, you can't beat a hoodie, so they got a lot of sweet hooded sweatshirts. Um, a lot of t-shirts, arrow wool shirts, a lot of logo wear stuff. So if you're looking to get your hands on some new swag, I recommend First Light. It's great not only in the field, goes well in the bar too. We were just down the road here and we would seen another really big buck when we were driving by, but it, he got off the field and we were certain it was this non-typical. Same type of frame. And uh, we were hoping he'd pop back out on the field, though. Anyway, we kept driving down the ridge. Sure enough, we seen a big buck hugging this cornfield. Probably 250 yards from where we seen him 10 days ago. And uh, sure enough, it's him. <laughs> he just ran out of my screen. Where'd he go? That was a pleasant surprise. We swore we seen him down the road further. Just the frame on this other buck that we laid eyes on looked just like him, but obviously that was him. He was a couple hundred yards from where we seen him 10 days ago. He must be living in this ditch or in the standing corn there. <clears throat> but uh, we got some pretty good video of him. I want to try to get down here before it gets too dark and see if that other big one stepped back out because <laughs> I don't know what this one down here was, but he was equally as big. Well, another awesome night of looking at velvet bucks through the glass. Seen uh, quite a few deer. They moved a little late, but uh, we did lay eyes on that giant again, which is awesome. I think he's still got a decent amount of growing to do, which is insane for considering it's already 
push in the middle of August, but he still has big bulbs on the end of some of his tines. Look like they got to fill out yet. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching some of the velvet action here last week and this week. If you haven't, check last week's show. Um, we had a lot of good encounters last week on that show also. But uh, that's pretty much going to be it for Velvet Scouting. Um, we're going to head out to North Dakota here soon and start getting ready for the opener. And uh, that kicks off Labor Day weekend. So it should be pretty much a little bit of prep work here on uh, next week's show. And then it's going to be hunting action from here on out until the middle of January. So again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're dropping season nine as we speak. New episodes are coming to the channel every Wednesday. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, give us a like, drop some comments, let us know what you guys are up to, um, where you're kicking off your season, and good luck to everybody that's going to be getting out in the woods here in the coming weeks.